Never trust anything trailers tell you. Trailers can lie. <laughs> well, that was so overdramatic, but um, yeah, let's talk about Lucy. <laughs> Lucy follows a young woman, played by Scarlett Johansson, who gets kidnapped by a Taiwanese crime boss to become a drug mule for this weird blue meth crystal kind of thing. So the drug is sewn into her stomach, but accidentally leaks, which causes her to access more of her brain capacity and basically she becomes more intelligent as she goes on a mission to find the other drug mules stop them and it takes her on a journey that's bigger than the universe itself now out of all the movies i've seen this year this is probably the one that i've seen trailers to practically every movie i've been to i've seen for captain america probably godzilla and x-men but this trailer would be everywhere and sure enough it sparked my interest and go hey you know what i kind of like to see that but unfortunately there are some things that the trailer does not tell you that make the movie I don't know, kind of fall flat, but we'll get to that later. This movie, in the long run, is okay. Scott Johansson starts out really good in the movie, but then as soon as the drug starts leaking in her body, the more she gains access to her brain, the less of a good actor she becomes. It looks like she graduated from the Kristen Stewart School of Acting. I mean, there are even scenes where her just, her bottom jaw is just like, and it's just, I don't know, it's like, they, there's a line in the movie where she says, um, the more I gain access to my brain, the less human I become, which, if you could pull that as a defense, that's fine, but, I don't know, maybe there could have been a better way to pull this off, because I've seen her in good stuff, because I've seen her be good in other stuff, like, Winter Soldier, Her, The Avengers, Don John, so I know she's a capable actress, but here she just really is not a good actress. Um, she just doesn't do a very good job. I mean, at first she has charisma, but really, I, again, as she gains more access to her brain capacity, she turns into a Terminator, basically. Really emotionless, and you just really can't connect with her. Morgan Freeman is in the movie who plays a professor uh, who's knowledgeable on the human brain. And whenever he's on screen, it just almost feels like a completely different movie. Because he, like, in the beginning of the movie, he starts out giving lectures about um, human brain um, and how animals' brains function. And then sometimes we'll cut to Lucy, who's um, just going with the... Uh, the crime boss, the drug lords. It's just really distracting. Like, here's five minutes dedicated to Lucy, and here's five minutes dedicated to Morgan Freeman. So, there really could have been a better way to edit it. Okay, what secrets this movie hides is the fact that, in a way, it's like Prometheus, where Prometheus talked about the idea of our creators. Lucy would end up talking about um, the evolution of humans and um, the knowledge of the universe pretty much and for Prometheus um, I know that's a big problem people had because they say it didn't come across as very good but um, you could look at it just as um, hey here are these aliens uh, that were featured in the first alien and um, yeah, it's kind of a cool movie Lucy on the other hand because there are so many silly Luc Besson type moments it comes off as very pretentious um, really because there are some really cheesy action scenes there's a horrible cgi car chase and whenever it takes a moment to talk about how the human brain functions and the bigger universe it, it just, again it's just very pretentious and it doesn't succeed in trying to make its statement so lucy is okay um this is one of those movies that if you rented it or if you saw it at home you would be entertained i guess um i don't hate the movie i don't even think it's really a terrible movie it's just it was wasted potential. It had an idea and unfortunately um, got too wrapped up in its philosophical statement that it just failed. So I'm going to say this movie is something you should watch at your own risk. Um, if you feel like you have to see it, go see it. But if not, um, you're better off renting it or waiting until it comes on on TV. 
And that's my review for Lucy. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought of the movie, subscribe to my channel for more stuff in the future. You can check out my video vlog channel, AlexG8462. I have links to my Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram accounts on this YouTube page. Go check me out on Letterboxd.com under the name of Mr. Robinson, as well as my written reviews on Geek Down Nation. Share me with your friends and tell them about me, and remember to know it before you see it. I am the real Mr. Robinson, telling you there's only one. I'll see you guys later.